Men with money to burn are becoming a popular trend on college campuses nationwide and right here in the mountains. Dozens of local students are members of an online dating website that hooks them up with so-called sugar daddies. News 13's Megan Sharing joins us with this special report. Megan? Yeah, that's according to the website SeekingArrangement.com. Wealthy men are shelling out big bucks for a date, and it's perfectly legal. And the co-ed we spoke with is using that money she gets to pay her tuition bills. SeekingArrangement.com promotes itself as the world's largest network for sugar daddy and sugar baby relationships. Producing a new and innovative plan for college sugar babies that is sweeping the nation. The Sugar Daddy. In other words, the dating website is a place for rich, generous men to meet young, attractive females. He gives me 1500 a month so I can just you know, instead of trying to take out loans and stuff, just put that in towards my college, books. This co-ed who wants to remain anonymous is a sophomore at the University of South Carolina. It was literally out of boredom. I was like, all right, well, I'll sign up and just see where it goes. She became a member after reading an article in a popular magazine. I honestly thought I was just gonna be like on for a week and then I was gonna be like, yeah, this isn't working out. But now she's in an exclusive arrangement with an older man. It's just really beneficial that he's willing and generous enough to help me out with my school because, you know, he's been there, he knows how it goes, and he just wants to make my life easier. And being a sugar daddy's companion Join is something college students in the mountains and upstate are also wanting to get paid for. Jennifer Gwynn with SeekingArrangement.com says co-eds from UNCA, Western Carolina, App State, and Clemson have all created profiles. In, in general, this year worldwide, um, we have just about a million profiles that are college students. And local authorities say mutual beneficial relationships like this are considered legal as long as the women are providing services other than sex. I don't know if you have an answer to those people who think this may be borderline prostitution. I mean, the difference between this being illegal and not is it's not an expectation. It's an aspiration for sure, but it's never a requirement. I mean, all relationships, usually the end goal is to have sex. Um, this is just more of a non-traditional approach to that. Do you put your man friend in this category um, as a sugar daddy? No, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, he's an older guy that I'm seeing that I get along with great and would be seeing regardless. And SeekingArrangement.com says they screen every single profile and they work hard to make sure that people aren't using the site inappropriately. And Tammy and Larry, just in case you're wondering, some members on this site have found love. President and CEO of Seeking Arrangement, Brandon Wade, just married his sugar baby.